I came here because you're the backbone of what makes this nation great. You build the equipment that built this nation, that will revitalize this nation, that also protects this nation uh, with the great defense manufacturing that happens. And I've really focused my campaign for Senate around a, re a renaissance in manufacturing. You can't have that without the machinists and aerospace workers. It's something that's in my heart because I remember what it was like when I was 16 and hungry and poor and my family uh, literally didn't have enough food to eat and I was the only one in my family who had a job, $3.10, and I benefited from the work of organized labor. Because even at 16, I had rights as a worker and I had a minimum wage. I couldn't be cheated out of my minimum wage and my family needed every penny of that to help pay the rent so we would not become homeless. And so um, I remember to that and, and I remember that you know, we all take turns, and in some days you're going to be the strong one, and some days you're the vulnerable. And the union and labor was there for me when I was nobody. And how many other young, hungry kids are there out there right now who could grow up to be great um, public servants or great entrepreneurs or, or future presidents uh, who are being protected by the very workers' rights that labor organizes for and protects for everyone in this country, whether or not you're a member of labor. So that's why I stand shoulder to shoulder. It is tough. Anything that is worth fighting for, anything that is, is valuable, is going to be tough to protect because others want to come after that. And that's why it's so important that your members get out there every day and fight for all of us. Um, it's why I'm proud to have the opportunity to stand with, with, uh, with the brothers and sisters in labor and stand shoulder to shoulder for fight for these benefits because without you, America isn't great. America is not a leader of the free world, and, and we need everybody at that. And so, yeah, it's tough. And yeah, there are going to be days when you don't want to get out of bed, and there are going to be days you just want to stay home. But you get up and you go and you fight the fight because, you know, as I told in there, the people fought these fights before us and there'll be people to fight them after us, but this is our turn. It's our turn to do this and, and we can do it. We're strong, we're strong together and we can do this. And this is why America remains the greatest nation um, because of people like the very ones in that hall today.